You see, fear is the opposite of faith. It's a spiritual disease that causes distraction, that makes us take our eyes off of Jesus to focus on the problem. And without faith, it is impossible to please God. And in God's wonderful design, there is a plan to fight disease, to fight disease within us. Fever. That's a fire. Fire. Yes. Fever is not the disease. Fever is the cure. Fire is the cure. Want to know about the presence of God? Want to know about fire? I have one. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. When they were confronted with the most powerful force in the world at the time, Nebuchadnezzar and the, and the forces of Babylon, and they said, bow down and worship this you know what they said? No. No. They would not bend to the evil. So Nebuchadnezzar, in a, a, I was going to say a fit of rage. That is right. A fit of rage. Had that fire, the furnace, heated up seven times higher. Fire. And had them tossed in. It was so hot that the, the people that went to throw them in burned up. But Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego marched around in that fire, but not alone, hallelujah. They marched around with the living God. They looked in, and there were four marching around in that furnace. And that should just show us that God will never leave us nor forsake us. No matter what we're going through, He's there with us. But it should also show us, and this is why Peter said we, we exult in it, this is why James said we consider it joy, mm -hmm. is because you can't be afraid of the fire. That's right. The fire may very well be the place where you have the most incredible experiences oh, yeah, right. of the presence of Amen. God. Amen. Amen. That's where, when you can cr call out and say, He is my deliverer, mm -hmm. and experience the deliverance of God in these trials and tribulations. Because you want to know something at the That's end of the day, sure. you know, we can we can do these shows, you can put ads in the newspaper, you can do all you want, but it Same says that the encounter. saints overcame. In Revelations, it says that the saints overcame by the blood of the Lamb and the word of their testimony. Your testimony is when you can proclaim how God has delivered you from the trials, you, from the from the persecutions, from the fire. And that is the truth. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Ooh. Oh. It's like the potter and the clay. You know, this is used a couple times in the Old Testament. It's used in the New Testament. God is the potter, we're the clay. Hallelujah. When it's finally molded and just the way the Lord wants it, when it's all done, all finished, all looking perfect just the way He wants it, you know what happens then? Into the fire. Into the kiln. That's right. To be finished over. and perfected. That's right. Praise God. You will encounter the Lord God Almighty, His glory and His magnificence in the fire. Well, hallelujah. I want to join with the four living creatures in the fourth chapter of the book of Revelations. And I want to pray and cry out, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord God, the Almighty, who was and who is and who is to come. I want to join with the 24 elders in the fourth chapter of the book of Revelation, crying out, Worthy are you, our Lord and our God, to receive glory and honor and power. For you created all things, and because of your will, they existed and were created. It is about fire. It is about trusting God as you encounter that fire. It is about that joy, knowing that that he is in control of whatever situation that you are encountering right now. Right. And that he will deliver you for the glory of his name. And to bring you to that place of true holiness. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, Father. I just, I, I thank God. Mm -hmm. Listen, he still uses the foolish to shame the wisdom of the wise. 
He can still use us in our weakness to shame the strong. He has called you by name. He has called you out. He has separated you from the world. He has already made you holy to serve his purpose. Rejoice, give thanks, and praise the living God. Amen. God bless you. And until next time, see you then. On a hill far away Stood an old rugged cross The emblem of suffering and shame But I love that old cross Where the dearest and best For a world of lost sinners